In this lesson, you are going to learn how to multiply whole numbers. Keep in mind that multiplying means to find the total. So for instance, if you have five groups with six in each group, the total is five times six or 30. 30 is the answer to the multiplication problem, which is called the product. Solving multi-digit multiplication problems can be done in a variety of ways. Let's practice a couple of them here. First, read your problem. Which expressions can you use to solve 15 times 38? One of the strategies you can use is to manipulate factors so they are easier to multiply. The first step to do this is to break one factor into tens and ones. So let's pick 38 to start. Break 38 into three tens and eight ones. Next, you're going to multiply both terms by the other factor and solve. The other factor in this problem is 15. So 15 times 30 and 15 times 8. And you solve those multiplication problems and you get 450 and 120. You are now going to add the partial products. So 450 plus 120 equals 570. The product of 15 times 38 is 570. Now you're going to use the other factor, 15, and break 15 down into tens and ones and multiply it by 38. 15 broken down into tens and ones is 10 and 5. So 38 times 10 plus 38 times 5 is the expression that you would use to solve this multiplication problem. 38 times 10 is 380, 38 times 5 is 190, and when you add these two partial products together, you get 570. So notice, using both ways will get you the same answer. You can solve 15 times 38 by breaking down either factor, multiplying, and then adding the products. So which expressions can you use to solve 15 times 38? Your answer is both this expression, which you saw in the first example, and this second expression, which you saw in the second example, will work to get you the product of 15 times 38. Let's move on to your next problem. Now multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number. In this case, you're going to multiply 145 times 39. And you're going to use the standard algorithm to solve this problem. When you use the standard algorithm, you want to line up the numbers in columns. So this is the ones column, tens column, and hundreds column. You're going to first multiply 145 by 9. And then you're going to multiply 145 by 30. Let's look at 145 times 9 first. 9 times 5 is 45, so you're going to place the 5 here in the 1's column and carry the 4. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 4 is 40. Place the 0 here and carry the 4. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13. So place the 3 here, and since there are no other numbers up here to multiply the 9 by, you're not going to carry the 1, you're going to place it next to the 3. Now you're going to move on and you're going to multiply 145 times 30. Keep in mind, the 3 is in the tens place, so this 3 does not have a value of 3, it has a value of 30. Let's multiply. And remember, placing the 0 here shows that you're multiplying by 10, so this is your place marker. You can't start multiplying 3 by the digits up here until you place a 0 here. 3 times 5 is 15 carry the 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and you're at the end of multiplying the 30 by these three digits. So now that you have your two products, you need to add your partial products. 5 plus 0 is 5, 0 plus 5 is 5, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 1 plus 4 is 5. So you see here, 145 times 39 
gets you 5,655. Good luck with your future multiplication problems.